Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the new topic that is the constructions. So we'll see the part one of it. So here is the exercise 16.1. Here it says that draw a line M, take a point A that is outside it and through A draw a line parallel to M. So now let us see the steps of construction. So this is actually, I have constructed it on a piece of paper and then later on pasted it over here. So the first step is draw a line M. So this is the line M we have taken. And we have to draw, put, take any point outside this line M. So this point is here. So we can consider this as A. So here, mark a point A outside M, that is what I said. Take any point B on M and join AB. So here, one point is taken and we have to join AB, this and this one. With B as center and a suitable radius, draw an arc using compass to cut an M at C and AB at D. So you will take this as center, you will take on a compass, you will take any radius and you will draw an arc. So this we can at this point and this point. So this we can mark as C and this is D. You can put any. So now the next one. Take A as center and the same radius draw an arc cutting AB at E. So the same whatever we have taken the same distance for this one. Same thing we will take and we will draw an arc over here. With E and center and same radius CD. Now this point is very important. So this we have taken the same as for this one. Now you will measure this CD. You will take, you will keep the compass point one over here and this one. So whatever this distance, you will, this will be from here you will take from the compass, same thing you will see this distance and now and there you will take the compass, you will keep one point over here. And this one, the next one, the pencil over here. And whatever the distance you get without changing it, you will place it on E, the same distance, and you will cut it. Because see here, why are we going to do this one? Because you just have an arc over here. You need one more over this one, then only you can join the line. So you will cut it over here. So this is the point over here. So now you can see this and this one means there is a point here. So it becomes easy to draw this line. And this line is parallel to this M. Hope you got this. The same distance, whatever is C and D. The same distance you will take from E and cut it over here. So see here with E as center and same radius that is C, D. Draw an arc cutting the previous arc at F. Join the AF to get the required line N parallel to M. So that is what they have asked to A, draw a line parallel to M. So this we can mark this as N. How many lines can you draw passing to the point A? So point A is there. So you can you can draw many lines here. So that is, we can say we can draw infinitely many lines. How many of them will, you, will be parallel to line M? So li line, line M is here. So there will be only one line is parallel to line M. Now the next one, draw a line L. Draw a perpendicular to L at any point P on it. On this perpendicular, choose a point Q, 3 cm away from L. And then, through Q, draw a line M parallel to line parallel to L. So, this is the steps of, these are the steps of construction. So, this is the actual figure which I have drawn on the paper and pasted it here. So, now let us see, this is the line L what we have taken. And the next one is mark a point P on line L. So anywhere you can mark point P on L. And then the next step is with P as center and any radius, draw an arc intersecting the line at points A and B. So you will take on your compass, you will take any distance and you will keep that one point over here and you will draw an arc. It should be like this. And R, and that you can measure it at A and B. It can be anything you can have uh, measured A and B. So this is the one. And see after my, why this we need this R. So what will you do? You will keep your again compass over here, 
the this distance you will change this distance whatever suppose you have taken this much distance you will make it little broader and this distance you will keep your one part of this one the point of your compass over here and you will draw an arc over here then you will keep the next one over here and you will draw an arc here can you see this cross so this one will be the point of intersection so you can mark the point of intersection so this point and this point you are going to join and this so this is perpendicular so we can say this that is pq is perpendicular to this l so we can see here with p as center and then the radius draw an arc intersecting the lines at point a and b as i said now with a as center and radius more than ap draw an arc and then with b as center and same radius as before draw an arc so this was whatever the distance we had taken that was because that was more than a b so after doing that we had drawn an arc later on when we are drawing the arc from a we are not will draw an arc the same distance whatever we are taking from here to here the same will be from here to here so this is the another arc that is what is said here so now mark the point of intersection as point q so that is marked as q here okay and then join p and q that is done therefore p q is line perpendicular to line l then mark a point q on pq such that px is x centimeter we have to start with sorry this px is three centimeter because they have said on this perpendicular choose a point q three centimeter away from l so here from here to here this should be three centimeter so that will be px is this will be three centimeter you have to start from p and you have to mark this one as x so this said that px is three, three centimeter then with p as center and any radius draw an arc intersecting l at c and px at d so then what will you do we will take this center and so here with p as center and any radius draw an arc intersecting l at c so now you will take here one you will take this as center and you will take any radius you will take smaller radius and again you will draw it arc so what will you do here with p s center and any radius draw an arc intersecting l at c and p x at p x at this one this one so here there will be one and here one so you will draw this arc with x as center and same radius draw an arc intersecting px at e so now what will you do after getting this one again you will get here you will draw an arc over here the same thing whatever you did here you will draw an arc the same distance starting from x so measure cd so now what will you do after because from here you took and you draw an arc you measured this as cd then the other one you took from x and the same distance whatever you took for cd you will from here from p this you do draw that whatever distance you have taken from p this and this one the same so now what are you going to do because this line we want to draw this parallel line so now what are you going to do here to get this parallel line so you will measure this distance cd you will keep your compass over here and this one so whatever is cd you will take from e and you are going to cut this line so what happens why you are going to cut this line so you get this one the point of intersection here and then you are going to draw a line hope this is clear from p first you will draw an arc again the same distance whatever you are taking from p you will take from x you will draw an arc and then later on because this distance is different c and d the same thing from this you will take it and cut it over here and then later on you are going to join together that will be m so that is it and here with e s center and same radius as cd draw an arc previous arc at f and draw a line m passing to x and f thus we can say m is line parallel to l so you can have a look at this figure it should be the same as this one so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts Thank you.